To configure a Veeam Backup and Replication Backup Repository, fire up your Backup and Replication Console, then choose Backup Infrastructure, and then go to Backup Repositories. Notice that Veeam's created a default repository, but it doesn't point to where I want my backup files to reside. I can't remove this. So if I unselect it, I can go ahead and add my own. I need to give it a meaningful name. And then choose the type of storage that I'll be using. And select which server this repository should live on. I only have one Veeam server, so I only have one option here. And then I can choose the location. Click Browse. Navigate to my D drive and create a new folder. I can click populate to get some stats regarding the capacity and free space for this location. And if I need to adjust the maximum concurrent tasks or read write rates for this location, I can configure that here. And I can also configure some advanced settings. I'm going to turn on Use Per VM Backup Files. Notice that Veeam's suggesting that I use a REFS formatted volume. My disk isn't formatted with that file system, but I can continue anyway. And then, again, if I had multiple Veeam servers, I could select another server here, but I will use my local machine as the mount server and leave that as default. It's now checking the Veeam server for any roles that need to be installed. And as you can see, they all already exist. I don't have any existing backup files in that location, considering it was a brand new folder. So I will click Apply. And that's done. Veeam automatically backs up its configuration and it's offering to back that configuration up to this newly created repository, and I'll choose yes. I've now got two repositories, which means I can go ahead and remove the default. And that's how you configure a Veeam Backup and Replication Backup Repository.